Hello and welcome to the CryEngine 3 tutorial on how to use the road tool. So the road tool is obviously used for making roads and it's got quite a few cool features that generally are not used. And we are going to cover all of the features of the road tool. So here under the roll-up bar we go to mix or miscellaneous and we click and drag out a road. So you're going to probably want to turn on the follow terrain or follow terrain and snap to objects. Just make sure you don't snap it to an object. <clears throat> And we are going to click and drag how we want our road. And let's just take it down here and then make it go over there and double click to let go. And then you can see that there's quite a few issues here, but it's okay. Our road doesn't really conform to, well, the ground doesn't really conform to our road at all. And that's okay. We could change that or we could keep it how it is. So let's apply a material to our road first before we actually get into anything. So in our material editor, let's go under materials, road, forest, trail, mud, and then right click, assign a selected object. Now we've got ourselves a nice road. Now you can see that actually it does contour to the terrain. And that's one of two ways of making a road or having the road tool work. Or we could align the height map to the road so that way we don't have to, you know, let's say we want to make this a bridge from over here and cross this gap instead of having to drive down this valley. Well, we could align all of that so it's a much smoother ride. So here in our roll-up bar, under the properties for the road, click height map and then align the height map. And you'll see that it makes a pretty terrible, it looks pretty terrible in some parts, such as here. So we're going to just widen the border of the road. So under border width, bring that up to about, bring that up to 9. Then realign the height map. And you can see it made it a little bit wider, you know, it looks a little bit smoother on the middle of the road. And then if you wanted, you could just smooth this out with the smooth tool under the terrain, editor, the terrain modifier. Uh, it really just depends what look you're going for, but it can actually be a pretty useful tool. <clears throat> so let's select our road again. And with our road selected, we are going to now take a look at some of the other features and things that we can do. So one of them is a pretty simple thing. We can take our board or width and increase the width of our road. We can make it spill over the border or we could do a little bit of both and then we can make a much wider road. You can see there's a lot of issues such as the tiling looks very squished which gives it an unnatural look. So you can change that. And the step size you can make it more or less it really just depends on what kind of a look you're going for. This right now though is actually just changing the amount of segments for a smoother road. So as you can see the higher the number the less segments, the lower the number the more segments. Um, view distance ratio is for example you get all the way out here how far away is your road visible? And then if you just set that all the way up, it'll be visible from pretty much anywhere on the map. And then for the t for the um the issue I was talking about here with the repeating texture, you can change that under tile length, make it a little bit longer. And then now it suddenly looks slightly better, but it's still tiled. And there's lots of ways to break that up. That's a whole different that's a whole different issue. Uh, one of the really cool one is or one of the really cool tools that this has is the ignore terrain holes. So if you had a hole in your terrain, it would just skip right over that. And the vegetation mask is also another important feature. So let's say you want to automatically generate terrain across your land. You don't want to hand place everything because that could take a long, long time. So you want to you want to automatically generate it. Well, that can cause a lot of issues, especially if it's crossing over roads, going through buildings. Well, in this case, when you're going over roads, it has a generate um. Sorry, it has a vegetation mask width, and that width is how far um, automatically generated 
vegetation will be or the, the the amount of the masks. So for example, I generate the terrain, whatever that width is, is where that, that vegetation will stop growing or stop being produced. So that's another really good feature if you want to, you know, if you're quickly working on a level and you don't want to have to take the time to go and remove all the vegetation objects along your road. Now you can hand place them. The vegetation mask won't stop you from doing that. Um, the river tool, we're also going to get into a separate tutorial because it's slightly different, but basically a lot of the basics are the same. But things like the align to height map can actually be different. It really just depends on you know what the use is because of the depth and all sorts of other other features that the river tool has. So we'll get into that in the next tutorial. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it gave you a comprehensive view of the road tool. I'll see you in the next one. Please be sure to like our Facebook page and to comment and subscribe and tell me how you think we could have done a better tutorial or request a tutorial. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.